Hey guys, Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. Today's video is going to show you the activities and lessons we, the hands on lessons we did for today for phonics and math grades kindergarten, first and second. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than the videos I normally do. He's watching TV. If you hear the TV in the background, he's watching it for a second. This video is going to be a little bit different than normal because I just videotaped as my kids were doing each activity instead of making a whole video for you of me showing you the activity. This may be how I have to do these videos from now on just because it'll be a little bit easier for me to just film as my kids are doing it so I don't have to make a separate video for you guys. I hope that's okay. After you watch this video, let me know in the comments below, did you like this kind of setup? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you what the activity is and then I'm going to show you the child doing that activity. And I'll show you the next activity and I'll show you the child doing that activity. And this would just be a little bit easier for me. Then I don't have to set up a whole separate time to do to make another video for you guys. Anyway, so let me know in the comments if you liked this video and how I did it. Uh, you're going to still get to see the activity of, uh, activities and how we do them. But it's just not going to be me sitting there showing you them. It's going to be me telling you what the activity is and then showing you with one of my kids actually doing the activity. All right. <laughs> hope that makes sense and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, you are going to see him reading through these cards. These cards come from unit four. As he reads them, he is practicing the beginning blends on each card. So he will say it like this. S in scale, S C. St in stop, S T. If he needs practice actually saying, uh, reading the word, he would do G O U and then glue with the arrow and blend it all together. So that's how he would do it. But we were mostly practicing the beginning blends on these cards. This set comes, I put this set on rings. A lot of times I also put them on craft sticks. And you can see the pictures that went with them. Sp in spider, S-P. Good. Log. Right. Do do the sounds though. Cur. In crab. C, C R. No. In snail. S. N. Good. Cool. In crab. C L. Good. Okay. Okay. Next, you're going to see him doing these flashcard sticks from my phonics for reading curriculum. These. Uh, he's going to match up the words to pictures in Play-Doh. Very good. Now here are some pictures. And if you find the one that it matches, you're going to stick it right in front inside the Play-Doh. Mom, I did it right. Wait, did I? Very good. Flip the page and you can try the next one. What's P say? Okay, now let's read it. Ha. 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 There you go. A. Ha in fox. O. 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 A. In sun. U. How about this one? A. In cat. Good. A. Alright, let's just do a few more. Um, here's a good one. Oh, in You. Very good. I did everything. Mom. You did everything? Yeah, do you want to see if it's in the pig? Very good. Okay, now you're going to see one of the Flip It books from Unit 4 of my Phonics for Reading curriculum. This is the unit on beginning blends. He's skiing. What would ski start with? This? Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. I did. I did it. Grasshopper. Little, little. 
very good. Mom? Mom? Blend it does Flat. smell. He's smelling the flowers. You love to do that, don't you? Because I like picking flowers, but he never let me. Because <laughs> it's time to Mom? die. Can, can I play with this flame? Uh, stop. Hmm. Stop. Later. Plant. That's a plant. Very nice. Yeah, okay. Crib. Hmm. Look, see if someone yeah, you did the whole book? Yeah. Let's see. Seth has strawberries, blocks, drawer, skates. Uh oh, I see a wrong one. You did burr for brush. He's brushing his teeth. What does snake start with, buddy? Snuff. Yep. You can just erase it with your fingers. And thank you, Seth. Are you cleaning up for me? Okay, we're gonna clean up these, James, and we're gonna do your next thing. This is consonant vowel clip cards activity. This is from my phonics for reading curriculum, and it's from unit two on short vowels. Good job. That's a pen. What does pen start with? Just smash a little bit of Play-Doh on there. Okay, while he's doing that, let's get you set up, Mark, to do. Whoops. Okay, Mom, look. I did it. Good. Keep going. Put your ones that are done over here. Let's look here. Lock. Here, let's take the Play Doh off as we check it. Yak. Very good. Beth for bed. Very good. Duff for duck. Good job. Oh, I see one wrong. Check that one again. Sock. Sock. Ah. Uh, uh. Sock. There you go. Okay. S O for sock. Let's okay. put all the play the ones here. Yeah, I'll hand it to you while we check it. All right. Jaw and jug. Very good. Ra. Rabbit. Nice job. Neh. Nest. Wah for wagon. Good job. Wah. <laughs> okay, I see one wrong. What is this a picture of? A top. A top. And which one? Top. Ah. Top. Ah. Yes. T O. Okay, you can put the place. Uh, it's actually T O P. All right. Vest for vest. You got that one? You saw me. Let's get see. Path for pen. Yeah, well, I saw you do these ones. Myth for milk. Got that one. Gaw for gum, you got that one. Fifth for fish, got that one. And hippo. Hip for hippo, and you already took that off. Okay, good job. This is the book Sea Trip. This story comes from my Fox for Reading curriculum, the unit on blends. Read this book. The back here, they have to read each word. And inside we read and all of the blends are marked there as we go. From this book that had a blend. Now, when you read them, I'm gonna let you use Play-Doh like James has. So why don't you open this well, purple one? Okay, I'll, let's check them, James. Just a second, we're gonna check those. Okay, use that Play-Doh and put a little smash of Play-Doh next to each one. Well, this activity is number sort and match. It's a place value activity from my early learners math curriculum. You, the unit on numbers to 100. 42. Okay, so now you're gonna find a four and a two and put it over here to make 40, four tens and two ones, 42. Oh, four. Okay, can you put the 42? Perfect, excellent job. Okay, then you flip it and then you t take another card. 76, okay, very good, go on to the next one. Okay. Okay. 
left. 65. Okay, okay make I'm 65. Done. I told you all. Okay. What's the last one there, James? Thirty-six. Okay, you are going to see the Shape Trace Activity Center. This is from my early learners math curriculum. We are working on shapes this week as one of our uh, skill goals. And so he has to trace and match shapes. Yeah, so what did you just trace there? What shape is that? Rectangles. Rectangles. I'm very good. really good at tracing shapes. Yeah. Okay. It's an octagon. 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 Okay. 60. Okay. Now we're gonna play a little shape game. Okay, you are going to see this activity: spin and match shapes. We are working on shapes this week with him. Um, shape names, the number of sh uh, sides each shape has, the number of vertices, that kind of a thing. So this activity is called Spin and Match Shapes, and you're going to see him spin the spinner and match the shapes on the mat. First, you're going to, I'm going to give you this. First, you're going to spin the spinner. What did it land on? Look, what did it land on? Trapezoid. So find a trapezoid. Now, look at your mat. Do you see a trapezoid on your mat? Yes. Which one? one? That one, yes. Put it in the box. Right next to it. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so spin again. And this. What, what shape is that? What do we call that? Uh, Hex. Hexagon. Yep, put it in the square right next to it. Good job. One of these two ones are the only one left. Mm-hmm. You just need, you got two left. What do you need? A square and triangle. Mm-hmm. Nope. See? Yes! Triangle. Uh, triangle goes. Which one's a triangle? This one. Yes, pizza is a triangle. Okay, this activity is number clip cards, numbers to 100. This is a place value activity from my early learner's math curriculum. Do you need a square? Mom, I know what this is. How many fishes are in the bowl? Fish are in the bowls, and there's 10 fish in each bowl until you get to the last one. So, what number does that make? So, how many fish are there? What number does that make? 10, 20, 40, 40, 50, 60, 40, 60, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. There you go. That one, you're going to count the petals on. Put it down. You're going to count I know, the petals. I know, I know. And actually, it looks like they what? all have 10 petals, so just count by 10. That one was easy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2. Good job. Put the Play Doh away. Ba, 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 ba. I'm going to hand you the Play Doh, okay? James, you can count with us, too. Let's check Mark's work. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. Good job. How many fish are in this fish bowl? You want to count with me, Mark? 10, 10 20, 20, 40, 40, 50, 60, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. 64. James, don't do that, please. I'm trying to do that. All right, he is juggling. 10, 20, 30, 40. 48. Good job. All right, we did that one. Uh oh, here's some play doh. Um, that one. Okay, we just got to count this one. Okay, the girl has 10 fingers. James, count with me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and she's holding up how many fingers? 52. Let's see if we got it right. Okay. I got all of them right. Good job. Okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So hopefully, I'm going to be able to still do videos where I sit down and show you the activities we're doing for the week. But I want to try this and see if this way of doing a video um, works because it would save me a bit of time. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.